Hi, I'm Juanita and welcome back to The Nick Guru. Today I'm jumping on the train and I'm going to be uh, making the emotional support chicken that's been going viral all over YouTube and all over TikTok and everywhere I see there's an emotional support chicken. Those of you who are long-time viewers will be aware of the fact that when my mother passed several years ago now, I inherited her yarn and I've been trying to work out what to do with her vintage yarn. Some of it was obvious, like we knitted the um, sleeves that she made into a jersey and that's been given to my sister who's given it to her daughter who wears it all the time. Um, other things, at least we know they're scraps of projects that she made, like the scraps of the baby blankets for my nieces and nephews, that sort of thing. In there, there is some sort of grey, maroony, pinky yarn that I did initially knit up, a, well, crocheted up a test swatch to see how it would go. There's a few balls of it. I think there's going to be enough for an emotional support chicken. And I have 20 chickens running free on this property as we speak who enjoy getting up to all kinds of hijinks in this garden. So I'm going to be knitting a maroony coloured chicken and I think I'm going to do the striped version with some grey stripes because there's some grey yarns. And those of you who knew my mother, maroon and grey, definitely her shades. So let's jump on the bandwagon and let's make an emotional support chicken. Yes, Rocky, you're a very good boy. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. Now I've got my vintage yarn here, this came from my mother's stash, and I crocheted up a swatch because initially I thought maybe a bit of a cardi, um, but it's not a lot when crocheted up into a swatch. The yarn doesn't go a long way, it's not a long ball, um, to be honest. So, I'm not going to crochet it. I think what I'm going to do is the emotional support chicken, and it does fit because I have chickens now. Um, we're sort of starting an egg farm at the moment. We always had chickens growing up, and it's it's not exactly an un-chicken colour. I mean, I don't really have pink chickens, but they're, they're, it's it's chickeny enough with its fleck, I reckon. So I think it should make a nice emotional support chicken. All right, emotional support chicken pattern. This is kind of cool how it's shaping up with the um, edging. This is part of the tail, and there's another bit that goes, and then I think it gets repeated and stuck together. So we'll see how it goes from here on. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm... Now, I still think this is the craziest pattern I've worked on in a long time. There are so many short rows, but as soon as I fold it in half, you can actually see chicken and it pays off. Um, I can see why it's called an emotional support chicken because you actually need to focus. It's not hard to knit it, but it is definitely a case of following all the instructions and every single row because you can't memorize it you can't just zone out you have to zone in so in that respect i think it's really well named and it's a really clever project um, i still don't like this brown but this brown and this purple gray color um, they're both from my mum's vintage yarn stash so <laughs> they happen to be the same brand so i put them together um and we'll see how they go right. and for the first time in a long time i'm all right seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago So here we are, good morning. Um, we've probably got the sound of a thousand chickens and we've got my emotional support chicken. Now this is made out of the vintage yarn. Of course there's the dog going as well. Uh, this is made out of the vintage yarn from my mother. And it's a very weird consistency. Like it says it's DK, but it's not quite DK. It says it's 50 grams, but it's a really 
thin <laughs> DK, but it, it's not a heavyweight DK, and so <laughs> there's not a lot of structure to my emotional support chicken, which I guess <laughs> is kind of the case. Um, <laughs> it's a lot. Really? So here she is. Um, she's a bit wonky and lopsided. Uh, some of that's the garter stitch, to be honest. It was a fun construction. Um, will I make another one? Yeah, probably. Because the sound of so many chickens is because at some point there'll be an egg farm and we'll be selling eggs at markets and things like that. So <laughs> there will need to be more emotional support chickens um, in the market store, evidently. So here she is for now. Um, she does not yet have a name. Um, the colours are a bit weird. But... There she goes. I made the emotional support chicken and I'm quite happy with her. <laughs> See you next week.